Hey guys, this is Brown going through the first problem in the packet. Uh, I'm going to give my B block a chance right now to say hi to themselves of the future. If anybody yeah. would like to take up. Hi. That's very delightful. Anybody else? No other takers. Uh, so if you hear yourself, remember that you are now time traveling to the future so you can talk to yourself by hi. yourself. There's another one. Okay. Uh, so here we're going to use the steps process to solve word problems using the laws of sines and cosines. And as far as this goes, uh, we're going to go through how that might work for the first problem on here, which is about Mr. Powers, Mr. Butterworth, and some velociraptors. The first thing we need to do is to show what we know. In other words, go through the problem and write down things that we know based on the problem. Uh, the first thing I might do is say, okay, Mr. Powers and Mr. Butterworth are standing on the edge of the field five miles apart. So I might do something like Powers and Butterworth and between them, right, five miles. Okay? The edge of the field is a straight line between them. Okay, that's kind of how I drew that. And both can see the same Velociraptor. I'm going to draw a V for Velociraptor in the field. And uh, Mr. Powers sees that at 32 degrees away. So that's 32 degrees. Mr. Butterworth sees that at 41 degrees. So that's 41 degrees. Uh, that 5 I have to rewrite. And how far is the Velociraptor from Mr. Butterworth? How far is the Velociraptor from Mr. Powers? And maybe most importantly, how quickly should they be running? Uh, to escape from the Velociraptor. That's the show part. Writing down stuff that we know from the problem. Uh, for the think of a plan part, here's where we draw the triangle we're going to use. So, given that we're in law of sines and cosines land, this doesn't have to be a right triangle. I'm going to use the same three letters that I used for my sketch. P, V, and B for Powers, Butterworth, and Velociraptor. And I'm going to add in the pieces that I know. So we got 5 miles. We got 32 degrees. We've got 41 degrees. Uh, those two together can help me figure out that V part up here by doing 180 minus 32, which would be 148. And then 148 minus 41, which would be 107. So I already have uh, another piece of this. Okay. Um, anything else that I know? Not really. Uh, I also know that I need to find that side. I'm going to call that B because it's opposite side B. I'm going to call this guy little P because it's opposite of the angle P. Okay. Uh, equations. Given that this says hint, use the law of signs, I should probably write down the law of signs based on this problem. So that would be sine V over V. Maybe I'll label that side side V also equals sine P over P equals sine B over B. Um, I also happen to notice that I have both pieces for V, but not for the other ones. So I might write an equation that looks like sine of 107 over 5. And let's say... Mr. Powers is a little bit older. He might need a little more time to get away, so I probably should solve his problem first. And in doing that, we get sine of 41 over B. Doing some of that calculation. Sine of 107. One oh seven. Sine is going to be 0.95. Now, I'll carry an extra decimal place or two into that. So 0 0.9563 over 5 is equal to sine of 41. And that's going to be 0 0.6561 over B. In solving this, so we get 0 
divide by 5 is 0 0.1913. Multiply both sides by b to get that by itself. And 0 0.6561. To finally get b by itself, I'm going to divide by 0 0.1913. So we get 0 0.6561. Divide by 0.1913, and I get that B is equal to 3.42 miles, or 3.43 miles. Uh, that involves both E and P in this process. We did the equation and we solved it. I've got to do another equation for P. Uh, and I'm going to start with this value because I already did the dividing here. So 0 0.1913 is equal to sine 32 over p. I'm going to multiply both sides by p. And then I'm going to divide by that 0.1913. Uh, I do have to find sine of 32. And I get 0 0.1913. 5299. That's going to be equal to 0 0.1913 times p. Dividing both sides by 0 0.1913. We get p equals. 2.7 or 2.8 2.77 Finally the solution uh, we've got to answer the question in context so I would say that the Velociraptor is 3.43 miles away from Mr. Powers and 2.77 miles away from Mr. Butterworth